I'm Geoffrey Patterson. I'm the conductor for Music Theatre Wales' production of The Golden Dragon by Peter Oetvers. And one of the wonderful things about doing new music or music by living composers is that you can speak to the composer. You can ask questions when you discover them. You can get direct feedback from the composer about what they want you to be doing with their piece. And so it was wonderful on Saturday to, to Skype with Peter Oetvers from his home in Budapest. I had some questions to ask him, but we had a very long, long, wide-ranging conversation about the piece and about his ideas, particularly about the way it should be delivered. He spoke a lot about Berlin Cabaret as being a big inspiration for the piece, which in several ways helps us. It helps us in a very practical way because he said that actually in the orchestra there's a quite a big part for piano, and he said he imagined it to actually be for an upright piano, which there'd be no way of knowing that from the score. That's really, you know, the kind of information that is gold dust that you wouldn't be able to, wouldn't be able to glean without speaking to the composer himself. And then the delivery, particularly the delivery of the lines from one of the characters, Hans, he said it should be, to use a wonderful German word, grausam, cruel and savage. Really, really great, great information from him. He spoke about the way this new English translation that we're performing needs to have real clarity, real comprehensibility. The story of the opera is quite complicated and the audience understanding what's going on is of fundamental importance. Now we had some ideas through the rehearsal process, through the preparation with the singers about places where we might change the text, we might very slightly change the rhythms the singers take to, to sing the words. He was very open to this. He was very enthusiastic about little tweaks here and there to make the text as comprehensible as possible. Again, to bring out this sense of cabaret, direct communication between the cast and the audience. The music of the Golden Dragon is really, really fascinating. It's kind of hyper virtuosic for the players. Very difficult, lots of notes, particularly the use of mutes for the instruments, for the brass. They have a whole range of mutes. The strings have a range of mutes. He's trying to create a sound that doesn't sound like Western art music somehow, that, that refers to the fact that half of the characters in this piece are from the Far East, but without a cliched oriental sound to the music and he does this in a really really sophisticated way it's a great challenge for the players and it's a great challenge for the singers because it means the music they're singing against often doesn't support them it provides a very complex coloristic backdrop to what they're singing but it's a really really wonderful and quite unique sound world that he creates mm -hmm.